didn't want to have to do it. Didn't want to have to break your heart. Didn't want to have to do it. I tried to stop it from the very start, but you kept on trying, and I knew you'd end up crying, and I knew. Didn't want to have to do it Didn't want to have to be the one to say it Didn't want to have to do it I kept hoping something would delay it Again, again, again But then, no We're, we're here to protest homelessness because, you know, like, like myself, I'm homeless, I'm working part-time, broken hand, I'm doing whatever I can to keep ends meet. A lot of these people are following me because they're homeless as well and they need places that are homes and they don't want shelter. We're not here to bum money or anything like that. We, we want a safe, affordable home where we can live and we can work. They're trying to put us in a shelter or in a bed sitting room. I got a partner. I am not going to no shelter, no bed sitting room. I want a house or apartment. I just want food and water while we're here, and I'm not leaving until we get a home. Well, what compelled me to come and protest is, well, I was evicted from my place after living there for uh, X number of years. Uh, I got an eviction notice for to do home renovations, and when I moved out a month later, the same place that I was paying $1,400 a month for, they put the rent up to twenty eight. We, we're, we're all broke, you know, we, some of us have medications that we can't get refilled because we haven't got a drug card because we don't have an address. So, you know, it's been a crappy situation all around. Newfoundland Labrador Housing had two of their uh, people here earlier and they interviewed all of us and we said to all, every single one of us stood our ground and said, we're not going into the shelter system. We want somewhere to live, somewhere that we can feel safe and that we can call our own. All these tents right now that you see, we're all forced to live this way. There are three of us here that work, and we have to live in tents and work. So it's kind of difficult, but we do what we have to do to survive. The end, the end, the end. Was it time that I thought that we could fly and never, never fall? Why should we suppose we were really never meant to be close to each other at all, at all, at all? Didn't want to have to do it. Didn't want to have to be the one to say it. Didn't want to have to do it. Kept hoping something would delay it again. Again, again, but then, no, I didn't want to have to be the one to say the end, the end, the end. So I live in Ontario and I need someone to tell me the pros and cons of living in America because at this point Canada just ain't it. Guys, I don't know if it's just me or did Canada fall off like 
terribly this year. Okay, so I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, and for those of you who don't know, Canada has like a serious fucked up inflation problem right now. I gotta be honest, Canada is so disappointing now. I don't have to tell you things are bad. Everybody knows things are bad. It's a depression. Everybody's out of work or scared of losing their job. The dollar buys a nickel's worth. Banks are going bust. Shopkeepers keep a gun under the counter. Punks are running wild in the street and there's nobody anywhere who seems to know what to do and there's no end to it. We know the air is unfit to breathe and our food is unfit to eat. We sit watching our TVs while some local newscaster tells us that today we had 15 homicides and 63 violent crimes, as if that's the way it's supposed to be. We know things are bad, worse than bad. They're crazy. It's like everything everywhere is going crazy, so we don't go out anymore. We sit in the house, and slowly the world we're living in is getting smaller, and all we say is, please, at least leave us alone in our living rooms. Let me have my toaster and my TV and my steel-belted radios, and I won't say anything. Just leave us alone. Well, I'm not going to leave you alone. I want you to get mad. I don't want you to protest. I don't want you to riot. I don't want you to write to your congressman because I wouldn't know what to tell you to write. I don't know what to do about the depression and the inflation and the Russians and the crime in the street. All I know is that first, you've got to get mad. You've got to say, I'm a human being. God damn it. My life has value. It's a completely different place. The cost of living, it's just, it's too much. Canada's so great, this and that. It's not anymore. I just got back from doing groceries and I have $70 worth of groceries on my table right now and I genuinely don't even know what I purchased that made it to $70. I left Toronto, I'm in Toronto. I left Toronto in, I think, February this year and I went to Mexico City. I went to some cities in Eastern and Central Europe and stuff like that. And I won't lie to you, like, there are people who are making like 30, 40K that have like a better life than people I know making like 100 to 150K here in Toronto. It's crazy. Like, the cost of living is absolutely insane. I stopped going out and I don't even have Wi Fi anymore. I've been living in the US for two years. The cost of living in Canada is absolutely insane. I don't understand how they get away with it. I saw a house not too far from mine that was a piece of garbage it was so bad it was old falling apart it was horrible and out of curiosity i looked up how much it was selling for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars i was younger three hundred and fifty thousand dollars got you a really nice place at least where i'm from now it's like you need like seven hundred thousand dollars plus to even get a half decent home Half of my paycheck is going into like paying off the credit card. You go to school, you get a degree, and you're still not guaranteed a job. 60k a year? That used to be like a decent amount of money. Not anymore. I'm working like three jobs right now. But the cost of living is outrageous in Canada. And it's just so, I was telling my parents, like, it's just so frustrating that, like, you do all the right things, you go to university, and then you come out, you get a job, whatever, and you can barely fucking afford rent. I used to live in downtown, so I moved back home. I shop at Trader Joe's in the U.S., so my grocery order is about 60 to $65 every two weeks, which, can't complain, I'm happy with that. And here, I went to a local farmer's market down the street. I got, like, five just little things, like a bag of chips, a jar of peanut butter, a package of cookies, like, simple things. Things, and it came to $62. That is my whole grocery order. 
in the U.S. Free healthcare? You know how long it takes to see a mental health professional in Canada? A year. Dermatologists? A year. I might as well pay for private healthcare. The healthcare system? Trash. Trash. If you need to see your doctor, you need to book like three months in advance. And if you need anything serious, like a surgery or an ultrasound, it's like a year long wait list. Like just forget it. And now they have a thing. Every concern you have, you're supposed to book a separate appointment for it. So I can't ask about more than one thing per appointment. What? I know you have to pay for healthcare in the US and it's expensive and I know that sucks too, but at least you get what you pay for and you get to see a doctor when you need to. It's like here it's free, but it's like you might not even live by the time your next appointment comes. Again, cities in Eastern Europe were just like a lot cleaner. In Eastern Central Europe, I did not see a single petty crime, not even a jaywalk. And the, I'm no joke, the moment I came back to Toronto, I, I hopped in a shopper's drug mart because I had to get like toothpaste or something like that. Somebody got caught shoplifting. There was a shooting that weekend. It was like two or three shootings that weekend even. The homelessness is so sad. I could not believe coming home. The biggest city near me, it's not a big city at all. It's still a small town, but I went through the streets just for a walk. I couldn't believe how many homeless people there are. And it's just so sad because it's like, I get it. I don't know how, if you don't have a really good job, how do you live? It's just ridiculous. Housing is too expensive, food is too expensive, childcare is too expensive. So where do we go? What are the pros and cons of living in America? Because I need to get out of here. I am so glad that I moved away. I've always been such a proud Canadian. There's just nothing to be proud of anymore.